Hello, today we're going to be repairing the Samsung Galaxy S4 i9-507 model. Um, so what you're going to need for this is a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. Um, that should be able to get you through the whole job. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, remove the back casing and then obviously the battery. Your next step will be to unscrew all of the screws around the rear of the phone. Now that's a Phillips head. So as you go ahead, just unscrew all those screws. It's always a good idea to try and keep them together. Now all of these screws at the rear are the same, but um, it's uh, internally there's another two screws that need to be removed, which will be different. So keep those two separated. It's always a good idea to have um, some paper or something something clean and soft underneath the phone to avoid scratching the glass on the LCD. Now next step is to take the rear frame off from the front housing. You'll note a small small line between the very front of the silver ha housing and the rear. Now you can either use your fingernail or a toothpick or a spudger, whichever um, whichever you prefer. Just need to get in. It's quite easy to get into an S4, so just a little bit of pressure. Should be able to pop this first seal. Once you're in, you'll see it start to separate. Now you can continue using your spudger or um, I, like I prefer to use a fingernail, a way to avoid any scratching of the frame. In that rear housing you'll note that the loudspeaker comes off along with it. Now what you'll see is your motherboard with your cameras and your charge ports all accessible. Everything that you need to get at is um, on the inside of that frame. There's no need to take the glass out from the frame unless you're doing a glass only replacement. I recommend uh, getting a whole screen assembly uh, to give you a much better repair. Now there's a Phillips head screwdriver just up the top there. And you'll also have another one just to the right of it. Now one of those is holding down the motherboard, the other one is um, into the headphone socket. You also have a metal housing just to go over the charge port. Now you just want to use your Phillips head just to pry it off at the side. Just be gentle, you don't want to snap anything. Should come over come off relatively easily. Now your ne next step is to take off your RF lead. Um, I prefer just to do it from the charge port, leaving it connected to the motherboard, as there is a chance that the um, the plug can snap and it's better to snap off the charge board than it is the motherboard. Next step is to disconnect the charge board from the motherboard. You also need to disconnect the home button flex and then gently peel off the charge board flex from the bottom of the phone. That's quite flexible, just bend it back into shape if you bend it at all. Your next step, that's your display connector and your headphone connector. You also have your front camera and sensor connectors. You need to make sure those are all disconnected before you attempt to remove the motherboard. The rear camera, however, is connected on the rear of the motherboard, so you can leave that. It does not need to come off for a screen replacement. Your motherboard should lift out nice and easily. Set it aside. Now what you need to do is remove a, a metal cover over the front camera and the sensor. Just use a, a flathead, pop it off, 
and then you can remove the sensors just by pulling them out. Also, as you may have noticed, the headphone socket has also come out of the phone. Sometimes it's glued a little bit better than that, so you might need a little bit of pressure. I prefer to use a Phillips head or a flat head in the socket and just pry it off gently. As you can see here, I'll just show you how. Next step is your vibration motor. Now that you'll need to get a flat head screwdriver, very small, go underneath and make sure you follow around not to rip the flex. Now there you go, that's uh, all your components out of the screen. Next step, I'll show you how to put it back together. Okay, let's put the phone back together. Now you can uh, go in a relatively similar order putting it back together. Just make sure you to place everything back in its appropriate spots. That would be your front camera and your headphones done. And that's your ear speaker along with your sensor flex right there. This is your little gasket uh, or some metal clip that holds them in place, pushing them up against the front glass. Your vibration motor should have enough adhesive still left on it just to go back in. You should not need any more. The motherboard will hold it in place anyway. Next step is your motherboard. Just be sure to get the flexes to go on top of the motherboard and not underneath it. Just clip them back in with your finger. There should be four at this point. Screen flex, headphone flex, camera flex, and sensor head uh, ear speaker flex. Next step would be to screw in the silver screw, which is for your headphones. That will be just near the rear camera. And then the black one is to hold the board in place. That will go just to the right of that and a little bit lower. Next step, take your charge board and place it underneath the navigation button flex and that should stick with the existing adhesive. You may want to apply some extra in the case where the adhesive is no longer strong. Be sure to click down with your thumb the navigational flex back into place on the left hand side and then the board uh, charge board back onto the motherboard. Next step run the RF antenna back down the side and reattach that to the charge board. Okay, so now you're just gonna put your metal cover over your charge board and click back in that rear frame. It should go on quite easily. You'll just need to push it with your fingers. Just be sure it's all in and you'll see that the lines are very flush. There shouldn't be any gaps. Your next step is just to put all your screws back into the phone. Be sure not to screw them in too tight, just firm is enough. It does always help to have a slightly magnetized screwdriver for this. Remember, all these screws are the same length, so the order is not important. Okay, next step. Place your battery back in. Be sure to line the pins up correctly. And replace the rear cover. Now test the phone by turning it on to see if everything's okay.